Tonight, it's been four days since an explosion and several fires broke out in Fairport Harbor, and it will be many days to come before things get back to normal. An overpressurization of gas is being blamed on the fires that destroyed homes. Already small steps are being taken as Dominion Gas works to replace furnaces and key appliances. For the latest from Fairport Harbor, News Channel 5's Ted Curtan has continuing coverage. I, he was a rescue, as it was, and... It, now it's like, now it's like I feel like I need rescue. Curtis Fiegel and his dog Carter are spending their third consecutive day living in a motel. A victim of Monday's Fairport Harbor gas fires, Curtis's apartment is now a pile of rubble. And they just push the building onto itself. Um, so every, everything we had was a complete loss. Others who suffered losses have started making repairs. Dominion crews also continue to work and today finished their home inspections. Fairport Harbor Mayor Frank Sarosi reports the gas company has replaced dozens of damaged furnaces, hot water tanks, and gas lines. They're making whole for everybody that was involved in any kind of incident at all, and they're paying for everything right now. The mayor says the state fire marshal has also finished investigating, and the people of his village are coming together to help each other. People thought there'd be a chaos, and actually the people are all working as a team. We're one of the most unique villages you'll find. They, they got a bad leak right here. Ron Teasel is a lifelong villager. His neighbor is staying at his house until her gas line is replaced. Everybody's kind of pulling together, and uh, the gas company's been great. On your side in Fairport Harbor, I'm Ted Cortan, News Channel 5. And sadly, several of the victims did not have insurance, many of them renters. Coming up tonight at 6, Five on Your Side troubleshooter Joe Paganakis comes to the aid of several families who lost everything and has key information on the importance of renters' insurance.